for 74-year-old Lal Duhoma, set to be the next Mizoram Chief Minister, is been a decades-long wait for power. The former IPS officer who resigned from the services when he was in charge of then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's security was elected as Member of Parliament to the Lok Sabha from Mizoram way back in 1984 but became the first MP to be disqualified under the anti-defection law a few years later in 1988. I was disqualified as a member of parliament for a cause for Mizoram. The main reason is that I fought for cause. Mrs. Gandhi requested me to resign and she immediately sent me to London. Uh, we had a negotiation and I brought him here to Delhi. We started negotiation with him. In the beginning, it was running smoothly. We expect a signing of the Memorandum of Settlement in the year 1985, by the month of June. Everything was settled. But when the time comes to vacate the seat, the Chief Minister refused to do so. He has betrayed his own people here. Lal Duhoma played a key role in bringing smaller regional parties together to form the Zoram People's Movement, winning 27 of the 40 seats in Mizoram. The ZPM has decimated all parties like Mizo National Front and Congress. There were no other government. Every time Congress and MNF exchange, then no other chief minister other than Pulal Thanhola and Puzoram Thanga. So people also want to experience change and ZPM takes advantage on that and change should be provided by ZPM. Many see ZPM's emergence as mirroring the rise of the Ahmadmi party in Delhi. But now the question is, like other regional parties in the Northeast, will the ZPM ally with the BJP government at the center? We are not, uh, we are not a partner of any um, national level uh, gathering. We do not give support to any other uh, union. But with few months left for 2024 general elections, remaining politically unaligned would be a tough choice. Bureau Report, NDTV.